how can you show that a triangle with given vertices is either isosceles or equilateral or scalene? Well, the answer is you need to find all three side lengths, and that means you're going to need to do three distance or length formulas. Remember, the length formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Luckily for us, we've been given xy coordinates for all three of the corners of the triangle. Now let's draw a little sketch for ourselves so we can get oriented here. Point A is at 13 comma negative two. Positive 13 on the x, negative two on the y. So that is point A. Point B is at nine comma negative eight. So that's, I don't know, nine on the positive x and then negative eight is way down here somewhere. Nine, negative eight. Lastly, C is at five comma negative two. Five is gonna be around here, comma negative two. Oh, those both have the same y value. Well, that's gonna be useful. C is at five comma negative two. Great. All right, so the triangle itself is here. What your job is to prove that something is isosceles, which means two sides of the same length, or equilateral, all three the same length, or scalene, where none of them are equal, you're still gonna have to do three length formulas. Let's together calculate the length between A and B. Now, you might have to write out the whole formula for your teacher, but I'm just gonna fill in the numbers. Now, if I'm going from A to B, then my x2 is nine, my x1 is 13, my y2 is negative eight, my y1 is negative two. Now, fun fact, in this formula, if you accidentally switch around which one is two or one, it doesn't matter. Uh, just don't, just make sure both your x's are first, nine and 13, both your y's are next, negative eight and negative two. That's what really matters. The squaring will get rid of any negatives that you accidentally caused to pop out. Anyways, nine minus 13 is negative four. Negative eight plus two is negative six. Now here comes the squaring. When you square a negative, it becomes positive. This is 16 and also 64. That gives me the square root of 80. Now that's what we call an exact solution because you haven't done any rounding. But uh, let's use a calculator somewhere and get the actual number for the square root of 80, 8.944. So the length from A to B is 8.944 units. We say units because we weren't given any actual units here. But that's just to find from A to B. Yes, I am personally going to do this for B to C and from A to C as well. That's a good height for you. The length from B to C, same deal. B to C, we've got five minus nine for the two X's. We've got negative two minus negative eight for the two Y's. See, I'm just taking them from the points themselves. Let's calculate these square roots. Five minus nine is negative four. Negative two plus eight is positive six. Oh, I like where this is going because we get 16 and 64 again. So it's a still root 80. Again, that's the exact solution. The approximate solution is 8.944 units. Cool. Now, I already noticed that AB and BC are the same length. So we're at least isosceles. But we have to check the third side. If the third side is the same length, it's actually scalene, not isosceles. So let's do it. The length of AC, square root of A to C. We've got 13 minus 5 for our x's, and we've got negative 2 minus negative 2 for our y's. These numbers are much different. 13 minus 5 is 8. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Oh, I see. 
it's the square root of 64, which itself is 8. That is not the same. Now here, 8 is the exact solution because the square root of 64 is a nice round number. So what this means is that because the length of AB equals the length of BC, which is not the same length as AC, two sides are equal in length, and therefore, in our case, triangle ABC is isosceles. Love it. If all of these were not equal to, like if none of those had been equal, we would say scalene, and if all three were equal, we would have said equilateral. But the method is the same. If you're asked to prove that a triangle is a particular shape, like isosceles, tri or isosceles, scalene, or equilateral, your job is to calculate all three side lengths. Does it feel tedious? Well, maybe, but it only took me six minutes. So what's it going to take you, half an hour? Ha! Best of luck.